Well, good afternoon, Fancy Farm. Well, friends, here we are again, like a moth to a flame, like Andy Bashir to giant checks, like a Kentucky Attorney General to a governor's race, I am once more drawn back to my favorite place on earth, West Kentucky. And how about a hand for our MC, Speaker David Osborne. He drove all the way down here for some peace and quiet, and I'm sure that after leading a caucus of 75 Republicans in Frankfurt, we were ready for a more calm and agreeable crowd today. Kelly Paul, wasn't she amazing? She's full of spice, quite the public speaker. Charles Booker is here. Spoiler alert, he won't be here next year. Congressman Comer is here. Thank you for all you do fighting the Democrat socialist agenda. Now let's fire Nancy Pelosi. It's always great to see my fellow constitutional officers, Allison Ball, Daniel Cameron, Mike Harmon, and Frazier's brother, our Secretary of State, Niles Crane. Great to see you. And just like most of our constitutional officers, when I stand on this stage and promise Kentucky two terms in office, I meant it. Now, Kentucky, I have some great news for you. For the first time ever, in over 150 years, Kentucky is now a majority Republican state. And I want to say thank you. Thank you, Mitch McConnell, for being there every single one of those years helping grow our party. Now, folks, it's time for a new governor of the Commonwealth, and I hope to earn your vote. Let's not forget that Andy Bashir was the shutdown governor. He shut down our economy. He shut down our mom and pop stores. He killed countless jobs and kept the big box stores open. And worst of all, he sent police to our churches on Easter Sunday to harass Christians. Folks, just because we live through a global pandemic doesn't mean that our rights, our freedoms, and liberties should be tossed out the window. I'm Christian. I'm pro-life. I'm pro-gun. Folks, we need to fund our police and not defund our police. And as we learned in Virginia, and as we learned in Virginia, parents should have a say-so in what's being taught in their schools. And I believe that it's wrong to let biological boys compete with girls in women's sports. And it's time to stop paying people to sit at home and watch Netflix and not work. Let's get them back into the job market. Good people, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, running for governor shouldn't be about who has the biggest insults, but who has the biggest ideas. I led the effort to help reopen our state. I beat Andy Bashir in court to protect our small businesses, and with your help, I'll beat them at the ballot box next year. Now, folks, here in Graves County, you all been through a lot this past year. In West and Western Kentucky, tornadoes may have knocked us down. And in East Kentucky, we are holding on to what makes life matter right now. But it is the resolve and resiliency of Kentuckians that pick us all back up. In the past six days, I've delivered over five tons of donated supplies to Eastern Kentucky. Because I know Kentucky is best when we unite together and when things get tough, that we need to have a governor who's tough enough to unite all of us. And I ask for your support. May God bless you and may God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Thank you all so much. Thank you.